So I wanna take a minute and talk to you guys about ROT. In some of our past videos, we've talked a lot about ROI, right? Return on investment. And then one of our other videos, we're talking about return on equity, right? So those are, those are really good topics and really good things to look at. And you can find those videos in the description below. But today we're gonna to talk about ROT, return on time. I recently had a friend reach out to me and said, hey, I'm going to Hawaii soon and I wanna make $1,000 in the next two or three weeks. And that $1,000 is in addition to just his, you know, his regular income, his W-2 job. So he asked me, hey, you know, what ideas do you have? I've been looking at flipping stuff on Facebook Marketplace, flipping stuff on eBay. You know, I've been looking at all these different avenues. What's the best way for me to make, you know, an additional $1,000 in the next few weeks? And here's how I responded and what I would challenge you to reframe your mind when you're talking about income and money. You need to look at your ROT, return on time. This particular friend makes about $60,000 a year. So with 60K a year, you're making about $31 an hour. Let's say with flipping stuff, he's able to get you know $1,000 in about 50 hours. So his income with his side hustle is $20 an hour. So that's his return on time, that's his ROT. So as we were having this conversation, I told him, hey, what if you forget about you know these side hustles and forget about you know trying to make some off money? and then take in a couple additional courses. In the marketing world, there's a lot of different certifications that you can get that should be able to help boost your income. He's striving to get a job where he's making 100,000 a year. So that's about a 40K a year jump. Let's say by doing these additional certifications, he's able to land a job where he's making 90,000 a year. And let's say that each one of these certifications take 100 hours to complete. So 300 hours is his investment. And 30,000 a year is his additional return. So you take that 30,000 and divide it by 300. The answer is 100. So $100 an hour is how much he was able to increase it. But this is where ROT gets crazy, is that's not $100 an hour once. Now for the rest of his working career in that industry, he'll be making that additional 30,000 year over year over year. So he invested those additional 30 hours, and let's say he stays in a job like that you know, for 10 years. Now it's become $1,000 an hour was what his time was worth by taking those additional courses. Now we're gonna take and apply that to real estate. I speak to some pretty high earners that say, hey, I wanna get involved in real estate. I wanna flip homes or, you know, they wanna do different aspects of real estate. But for these people, I actually recommend a different tool. To be successful in real estate, you need to have capital, knowledge, and a good team. For these high net worth people, the capital's there, but they lack knowledge, time, and a good team. So to develop all that out, it could take him years to actually have a really good system. So rather than having them reinvent the wheel, my recommendation would be, hey, find really good operators and be a capital partner for them. That way you're able to have your money working for you, but you're able to have your money working for you passively. And in that additional time that you've now saved yourself, double down, go in really, really deep in what you're doing and in what's already creating a really good income for you. And now you have these two vehicles working for you. The money's working for you here on a passive end with great operators, and the money's working for you actively here in the job that you already enjoy and are getting paid very well to do. But again, if you're debating there, go back, reverse engineer it, and find out what your ROT is, and then make the best decision from there. Hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, reach out. Always happy to help.